Hey guys, it's Isabella. So today I filmed this makeup look for you all. I have worn this makeup look before, but I wanted to film it because I really, really like it. So I did change a couple of things around with the look. Um, I changed the lip color, the lashes, and I also am not wearing my green contacts. I've just got my normal brown eyes today. If you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So to prime my eyelids, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Creamy Beige. For some reason, I've been using concealers to prime my eyes. A lot of people do it, but I've just been off and on that trend because I use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I feel like I need to try other things because I always use that in my videos. So. We're changing it up today. And to set my eyes, I like taking the Kali Bible palette or Bibel. And I usually take the first shade only because it's like a skin tone color. So I like putting that all over my lid. By setting it, it helps like making the eyeshadows you're about to put on a lot more easier to blend. <laughs> So I'm taking the Morphe 35K palette and I've actually been using this quite a lot. The thing I like about this palette is it's got the cool tones up the top and then the warm tones down the bottom so it's perfect for everyone and it also has a mixture of mattes and shimmers which is really good. But for today's video I'm going to be taking this shade here and putting that in my crease. And I'm now going to be taking these three brown shades um, and putting that in my outer V. Now going into my Z palette, I'm just going to be taking this duochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's called Blacklight and it's like reflective of, it's a mixture of blue, purple and pink I think. And I'm using my favorite eyeliner, the Maybelline New York Eye Studio. So for lashes, I think I was wearing a like natural sort of pair, but today I'm going to go dramatic and I'm going to be using these pairs here. So I do like the lashes, I need to fix the inner corner because it went everywhere. So for primer, I'm just going to be using the Mario Badescu spray. For foundation, I mixed my NARS She Glow and my Matte & Poreless Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm going to blend that in using a new discovered brush I had, um, I, this was the Morphe brush, I have no idea what it's called because it, the label's rubbed off, um, but I used to use this all the time and I've just recently discovered it again. Concealer, I used the 
Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And this is in medium neutral. So the only places I like to conceal are the under eyes and around my nose. And this beauty blender is from Chi Chi and I actually love it. I have another one. I use this to um, bake though and the blue one I use to um, cream contour and blend out stuff. So I am going to bake now. Um, I like using the, oopsie. I like to use the Face of Australia translucent powder. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for that to bake, I'm going to set, no, I'm going to apply mascara to my top lashes. And I'm also going to be filling in my <coughs> eyebrows. I'm nearly running out of my savvy brow pencil, but I bought another one. I didn't think I'd like this brow pencil as much as I would. Um, I do want to start going back to my brow is, but I've been liking my brows recently. I just like how they're a lot thicker and like fuller. What I just used was my Savvy Brow Pencil and Wax, and now I'm using the Essence Stylus Kit in Blonde. And now I'm going to sweep away my bake. Um, I do have a little like trick or stuff I like to do. Um, when I did it on my friend the other day, she absolutely loved it and it made her look really flawless. So what I do is, I'm sure you can use any pressed powder, but I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. So what you do is you grab, you dab your brush into the thing and you set the forehead and then you dab it in there again and go down your nose and then sweep away that line, bakeage and sweep away here, dab it in there and then you sweep. And I do that so I don't have any like white bits, if that makes sense. I just reckon it makes your complexion look really smooth and fuller so, and I'm going to be taking the middle shade. I didn't add blush in the original photo, but I'm going to add blush today. Um, I'm using the NYX blush in Espresso, which is the only blush I actually use. So I'm going to be taking the Kali Bible palette and the first, oh no, the middle two highlighting shades and also Mixing it in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I want an intense nose highlight. <laughs> Mascara again, I'm going to be coating my bottom lashes. For lipstick, I'm pretty sure I wore MAC Velvet Teddy, but that was my friend's and I don't have it. So instead, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Melted Chihuahua 
liquefied long wearing lipstick. I'm gonna line my lips first. I'm lining them using the Bourjois lip liner. I'm really excited to try the um, matte ones when they come out. So this is the completed look. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!